Hello, everyone. This is Helen from Vivina. Welcome back. Well, today we are going to assemble the 40 kilowatt hour battery modules, module A, B, C, and D. In the original Li Sunleaf AZ0 battery case, these are all the accessories which we will use later. Okay, let's get it started. Please read the instruction menu carefully before the assembly. First, hammer the wrist part flat. Now the module C is on the hoist. Now install the module B. Install module A. Now put the three spacers down to install module D. Install module D. Tighten the screws to fix module C. Please use a manual wrench. Mark on the screws after it is tightened. Put the long screws down to fix module D. Please don't use the electric wrench. Only manual wrench can be used. Fix the back side of module D. Mark all the screws after they are tightened well. All the hole positions are corresponded with the original ones. You don't need to do any modification to the original battery case or drill new holes. Please use a manual wrench. Also mark all the screws after they are tightened well. Install the original car single harness. Install module A and B single harness mark to BMS. Now we plug in the module A single harness to BMS. Now plug in the module B single harness to BMS. This is the temperature sensor. Now we install the temperature sensor. Can use a spanner to further fix it. Also mark all the screws after they are tightened well. Plug in the single harness plug between module C and D. Install the BMS bracket now. Also mark the screws that have been tightened well. Now we start to organize the harness. Before organize the harness, need to mark on the plugs on the harness to make sure all the plugs are plugged in well.
Now we install the relay module. Please only use a manual wrench. This is the original bracket to support the original high voltage copper bar. Because there is no enough space inside the battery, so we need to cut this and this to fit in. This is after cut. And install it like this. Plug the PTC plug on the relay module. Now connect the interlock plug. Plug in this plug from the original single harness also to the relay module. Now install the high voltage copper bar. Use a screwdriver here to fix the screws. Also mark the screws have been tightened well. Organize the cable. Wrap some insulation tape around the service socket. This is the original current sensor. This end is straight, and we need to bend it like this. Install the current sensor back to the service plug. Install the A positive to service plug harness. Wrap the heat shrink tube. Connect the D negative to service plug. Now we start to fix the service plug. Before fixing the service plug, first plug in the interlock plug from the original cross single harness on the service plug first. Plug in the current sensor. Use a screwdriver to fix the service plug. Now fix the other end of the power cable come from the service plug to module A positive. Set the torque to 8.8. .8. Connect 
the other end of the power cable comes from the service plug to the negative. Set the torque to 8.8. .8. Also mark the screws that had already been tightened well. Now connect the B negative to BDU negative. Attention, only manual wrench can be used. You can use a screwdriver to first fix it. Set the top to 8.8. .8. Connect the C positive to BDU positive. Connect the other end to the C positive. Before connecting the copper bar, we need to first organize the power cables we just connected. Now connect the copper bar between C negative to D positive. No electric wrenches can be used here. Mark the screws that have been tightened well. Connect the copper bar between A negative to B positive. Attention! Don't use electric wrenches. All the torque set 8.8. .8. Now, all the power cables and uh, copper bar have been connected. We are measuring the voltage between the service plug to the BDU. The two values should be the same. Now measure the insulation value between the service plug to the ground. Now connect the BMS. All the plugs from the modules are plugged at the bottom of the BMS. All the plugs from the original car are plugged at the side of the BMS.
all the assembly had completed. We are using the OBD2 battery and the LeafSpy to check the battery performance. As we are using only a test BMS, so uh, we can only check the voltage difference, temperature, voltage, and uh, current. These data are normal are fine. Before shipping, we will change to a reprogrammed correct BMS. This is only for our testing.